Happy Homebrew Wednesday, folks. Ryan Patrick Murphy here, drinking a little homebrew. Got the What's Up Bra Brown Ale. It's actually a hoppy brown ale from the IBM. I actually brewed this one, but it was a collaboration recipe again. Pretty good. A little bit of a uh, a little bit of hops in there, but not a whole lot. Doesn't overpower the beer at all. Just a good brown ale. All right. So what do I got for you this week? Well, I bought a Fermonster fermenter. Probably put a picture up here around here somewhere. Um, so that I could use my tilt hydrometer. So if you don't know anything about the Fermonster, um, it has a wide mouth. Uh, top on it, a screw off lid, and uh, so one you could easily clean the inside of the fermenter. It's made of uh, plastic, it's clear. Um, so far, pretty good fermenter. Uh, I just used it last weekend when I was brewing the speckled heifer recipe, which is a spotted cow clone. Uh, anyone who's watched my videos before has probably seen me brew speckled heifer, either the partial mash or the all grain version. It's, just, it, it's a good solid cream ale, especially for this time of year. And I wanted to brew something that would kind of play palate cleanser since I've had a lot of hoppy beers. You know, it, it's just what you do. You know, you like IPAs, pale ales, you brew a lot of them, or you're buying a lot of them and having something to, that I can drink in between so I can, you know, figure out if, if there's something that a beer I'm drinking like. An IPA where, is it this IPA I'm actually tasting, or is there something left over from the last IPA I was drinking? You know, so. That's why I was brewing that one. Um, I did not hit the 1042 OG uh, target gravity. Um, it came out 1036. According to the tilt hydrometer, I finally got to use. Very cool little piece of equipment. Uh, you just, it's kind of a little capsule thing with a little circuit board in it. You drop it into your beer uh, when you start the fermentation process. Well, I mean, you know, when you pitch your yeast or right before you pitch your yeast, you just drop that in there. And you have to have like an Android device or an iOS device or even a Raspberry Pi. They have a little image that you put on a Raspberry Pi SD card and it will communicate with the tilt and upload up to uh, Google Sheets so you can see the data. Um, it's really cool. Uh, mine is set right now to check in every 15 minutes. My Raspberry Pi didn't work when I actually wanted to use it. So my uh, iPad, my six-year-old iPad I think now, is actually downstairs set to not go to sleep and is just sitting there with the uh, Tilt app open and it's just uploading Google Sheets every 15 minutes. You can change that frequency. 15 minutes might be a lot, but I've been trying to do some temperature control, so I wanted to know when the temperature was changing. And I have my uh, beer fermenting within the Cool Brewer, Cool Brewing, Cool Brewing um, fermentation jacket, we'll call it. Just put a couple uh, ice bottles in there, frozen like two liters, and. Um, Brought the temperature down from the starting temp of 78 degrees Fahrenheit and it got as low as 65. Uh, right now I believe it is about 66. So it's good fermentation uh, temperature, especially for US05. You know, US05 is fairly resilient and even if you had to go a little above 75, it'd be okay, but we're doing it better. I'm trying to make my beer better. Just like I need to figure out uh, my uh, gravity problem where I didn't hit that 1042 that I would have liked to hit. So I'll work on that and try to figure out what's going on there. I'm sure it probably has to do a lot with my impatience when sparging. I try to get done as quickly as possible because it's just, it's kind of one of those daunting tasks when brewing. It's just like, I want to be done and get to the boil and start putting hops in this thing, you know. But uh, I'm going to work on it and I'll see what I can figure out. and. Hopefully I will be better and hopefully this tilt helps me realize what's going on in my beers, you know. 
not that I have problems in my beers, but I'll, I'll just know more about what's going on. Um, anyway, here's a little clip. You can see me with the brew jacket in use. All right, in the closet here. Excuse the mess, and uh, sorry for the lighting. This camera needs a lot of lighting, but I'm unzipping the cool brewing jacket. There we go. Get the lid open. You can see my for monster fermenter and the bubbling airlock. We've got some fermentation. If you look to the left, there you see that little dot in the foam. That actually is the uh, tilt. And then I got my uh, ice bottles in there, keeping things cool. I just added one of those today. Again, I went down to one two liter. Now I'm up to two again. Just trying to keep things about 65, 66 degrees. All right, so that jacket, really cool. If you can't afford a, a big refrigerator and, or a temperature controller, well, maybe this won't be the right thing for you because the brew jacket is, or not the brew jacket, I'm sorry, the cool brewing jacket is about 65 bucks. So it's about the same price as a temperature controller. But if you can't get a fridge to ferment in, this is probably the way to go for you. As long as you have a freezer big enough to freeze some couple two liter bottles. I really haven't had to swap them out a whole lot, maybe once a day. And I got a little anal, so I'd do it once at night too. And then put the other one back in the freezer, and then by morning it'd be frozen, and I'd pop it back in there. And vice versa, put the other one back in the freezer. So, really great. Um, let's take a minute here and look at my tilt readings here from the Speckled Heifer. Um, yeah, so here's the, the spreadsheet. You can see the various calculations that it's done uh, based on the data that's been uploaded to the sheet. Pretty cool. Um, you got OG and uh, uh, temperature there, you know. And you can also see the ABV on there. Also, it does create a little chart so you can actually see the trends through the fermentation process. So, it's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, I don't have any brews planned right now. Uh, this weekend, I'm actually hoping to do some smoking instead. Uh, I just got a Weber kettle grill. I don't know what kind of meat I'm going to smoke in it yet, but uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to do a video or not. It's not really something... I'm not an expert at this at all. Uh, it's totally going to be the first time really trying to smoke something. But uh, I, may, I may decide to do a video, but I don't know if it's going to be something that will be a continuous thing. Unless people are interested, maybe. But there's a lot of other people doing smoking videos, and I kind of probably just want to stay with brewing. But we'll see. Uh, right now I'm not planning on making a recurring thing, if I even do it. So, anyway, that's all I got for you this week, folks. Cheers. 17. I'm out.